Well, hello and welcome to my channel. Today we'll be attempting to make Tarte Tan, a great French dessert that will be hopefully a great hit for my dinner Valentine's party. So if you want to know how to make it, join in. Well, as I mentioned before, part of what I'm trying to do this year for Valentine's is to do a Valentine's dinner party. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to make the recipes all from this one book. I actually got it for free at the garage sales last summer. So I thought, hey, why not? So all the recipes are included in this book. And I picked you know, about, you know, one main dish, two side dishes, and a, and a dessert that I'm especially kind of excited to try out. So why don't you join me and see how they all turn out. Okay, everybody, here we go, continue with our French menu. And today we're gonna tackle the dessert, my favorite part. I've been very much looking forward to this one because this is one of my favorite French desserts and it's one that I actually had in Paris one time. It was so good. So I'm excited to try it out and see how it comes out. Hopefully it does. And I even found this beautiful heart-shaped pan. <laughs> it's not too much. I hope it works, it might be too deep, we'll see. This is why we're trying it out today, because if not, we'll have to move to plan B. You know what I mean? I mentioned all the recipe recipes come from this Paris book that I have, and there's the recipe right there. And let's look at the ingredients. We're gonna need some all-purpose flour, some a third cup of water, a little bit of salt, uh, white wine vinegar, some unsalted butter, uh, some uh, just two pounds of golden delicious apples, which are right there, juice of half a lemon, and a cup plus two tablespoons of sugar, and uh, the cream chantilly or cream fresh, which is just for serving. Okay, well let's let's get started. Now, the one thing I will tell you right now, according to the instructions which I just read, uh, they're making me do my own puff pastry. That is not gonna happen. <laughs> no, I don't think so. That's why they sell this little thing at the store, so you don't have to go through all that trouble of hitting it, the butter and blah, blah, blah. So this is what I'll be doing. So I'll be cheating a little bit, so I'll make it a lot faster and quicker. So, but I will do everything else according to, to the recipe, except for that. Maybe someday I'll be that adventurous. Right now, I need to get it done. Okay, let's, let's get started. Okay, so the apples have been washed. Now I have to core them, peel them, and um, quarter them, so they only need to go and quarter. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and um, peel them. And here's my, uh, my compost bowl, so I can put everything and go straight to the compost from here. Oh God, this peeler does not work that great. I think I'm gonna have to use a regular knife. I usually don't like peeling things. I leave the, the peels on. Supposedly there's a lot of good vitamins and minerals in the peels. It also makes it easier and lazy sometimes. But this one I think definitely needs to be peeled. Otherwise the peel will kind of do its own thing and get ugly and that's not what I'm looking for. Okay, now that the apples are core, peeled and quarter, the next thing is to go ahead and put them in a bowl and toss them with the lemon juice. And we're gonna need about the juice of half a lemon. Here we are. And just in case funny things fall in, I always like to put under one of these. Okay, but I'm supposed to be able to cook the, the sugar and then put the apples in it. But because this is probably not a pan that I could put on the stove, I'm going ahead and cook my my um, my butter and my sugar here, and then I'm gonna transfer there, and then I'll put the apples on top. 
let's see if that works out. So anyways, calling for six tablespoons of butter. <clears throat> there you go. We're gonna let it melt and then we're gonna put the sugar. That is one cup of sugar plus two tablespoons. Supposed to keep stirring the sugar, or oh, not stirring, but cooking the sugar and the butter till it becomes amber. You can see that it's starting to get an amber color. I'm gonna wait till it gets a little bit more uniform, the amber color. Because once the apples are in, I'm supposed to, you know, I'm not gonna be stirring the apples around. I'm gonna cook them in place, so to speak. So let's put the apples. And hopefully this variation that I'm doing works. We'll see, we're testing it out. I'm not gonna be able to fit them all either. Oh, you need some big pan to get two pounds of apples here. That's all I can fit. And you can spoon some of the, you know, occasionally spoon over the sauce. Wow, it's pretty hard already. Huh. I don't know. This might not come out. We'll see. Well, I've been cooking them just for a little bit. It's just to cook them for 30 to 35 minutes. Whoa, look at that caramel. Wow, it is something. Anyway, so I'm gonna cook them a little longer, but I'm a little afraid of going too long. This caramel does burn. So I'll lower the heat even more. I'm kind of a, I'm the kind of a little bit of a middle of the road here. But I do see that they get I, I'm able to fit in more the longer I, I go with this. Let's see if this works out. Now I'm going to transfer my apples, trying to make them stay pretty, because they've been cooked, to my heart-shaped pan. And then I'm going to put the sauce over it. forgetting I'm doing this upside down so I gotta put everything yeah with the rounded size it's gonna be one that you're gonna show once we unmold this thing there we go everybody might not make that much of a difference but just in case you never know oh yeah that caramel is something else Interestingly, it's not smelling the way I thought it would. I smell more the butter more than anything. I thought it was going to smell more like caramelized sugar, but it's not. Well, what do I know? Now we put all this beautiful caramel on top. It'll sink to the bottom, I'm sure. Okay, now we get the puff pastry and we put it that we had already shaped up basically and I'm going to put it on top. It says to tuck it under. It's kind of like that already. It's going to puff up anyway. Okay, well, let's hope it works out. Now it goes in the oven at 375 until the crust is Puff, crisp, and golden brown, 25 to 30 minutes. Let's see what happens. Okay, so the tartan, tartan is out of the oven. Now, supposedly, we have to unmold it because it is an upside down apple tart. So, this is the scary part. I have to find a, a 
platter that's big enough to kind of go around all the, you know, all the heart. And that's about the only one I have. I now, you know, this is really not that hot. I let it cool down for a little bit. So let's see if I can make this happen. Then you serve it with creme fraiche or actually even ice cream. Oh, it's so pretty. I'm so impressed. I impressed myself. Yaha. First time. Well, there you go. I hope you too get brave in the kitchen and attempt a new recipe you have never done before. Have fun, learn, and explore. Hope you join me for more learning and exploring adventures here in this channel, where we always are daring to try something new and exciting. See you soon.